Hey, it's Norm from Tesla.com, and for today's show and tell, I want to share with you some more awesome toys that I got over the holidays as presents. So last year, we went to Maker Fair in New York, and in that trip, we visited the workshop of an artist named Jason Freeney. If you remember that video, Jason Freeney is this great sculptor who takes uh, amazing uh, vinyl toys and then modifies them and sculpts interiors of the toys. He shows you what's inside, like Mickey Mouse, a Lego minifig, or even Hello Kitty. Well, his sculptures are pretty pricey, out of my price range, but he did part partner with a toy company named Frame Master to create a mass-produced toy, a plastic toy based on his design, and that's what I got. So this is a 4D Master gummy, gummy bear. I don't know if you can see that it is the shape of a gummy bear, but you can see his inside, and that is so cool. Uh, it's, you self-assemble it, it comes in a box, and there's about 41 pieces in here, but all the anatomy is just snaps together, it's just nicely molded plastic. Um, and I can actually pop this open and show you uh, some of the details. So it's a little fragile on the inside, so that's why I actually keep the, the plastic closed up. But you can see he has his top skull right here, his brain. He actually comes with a little skull cap that you can show the brain or not show the brain. I like showing the brain. Um, and then I'm not, I don't have a degree in anatomy, but I can kind of tell that's his like trachea, his lungs, you have a liver there, and his intestines, and his, his skeletal structure, I think, is what really makes this figure work. Uh, it took about half an hour to assemble, super easy to assemble. Like I said, it's a high quality casted plastic parts, and you can find it on websites like ThinkGeek, sold out mostly everywhere. Uh, so if it pops up and you're interested in getting it, I would recommend snatching it right up immediately. So that's this Jason Freeney designed gummy bear anatomy toy. But if you can't find this on sale, you want to dig into anatomy toys, anatomical toys. Uh, the same company also makes another figurine that I really like and picked up over the holidays. And that's this dog uh, skeleton. It's an educational toy, technically. I think these are meant to be bought and assembled by kids in classrooms, but I just like the design so much. Much cheaper. This one I got for only about $17 on Amazon, and it's really easy to find. Uh, it still takes some assembly, and I think the plastic parts in this kit are not as nicely cast as the ones in the Jason Freeney model. So this one, if you look up close, you can see that some of the some of the details are not as great. It's a little more crudely cast, and a little more difficult to assemble as well. So again, it took me about half an hour, about 30 pieces, and uh, it actually comes with a shell, so you can pop this shell on here. Uh, but I actually like displaying this uh, without one side and just putting it on a table and exposing the interior anatomy of this dog. And fun fact, if you have been following Tested for a while now and saw that video we did in Adam's home office where we gave you a brief tour of the awesome things he has on his shelf, uh, you might have seen this toy. I actually didn't realize it's the exact same toy. I had to go back and look at my photos and watch our video again. But it turns out Adam also has this anatomical dog figurine on his shelf. Again, you can find us on Amazon. It's super easy to assemble. Can't recommend it enough if you can't find the Jason Freeney gummy bear model. So those are the awesome toys for show and tell. This week we'll have something more. Next week, come back, subscribe to us on YouTube. I'm Norm, and I'll see you next time.